surrender if the government guarantees that he won't be harmed. Escobar, a ruthless killer, escaped from his own luxury prison when authorities tried to transfer him to another jail. NBC's David Bloom is in Medellin. Hundreds of army troops scouring the countryside for Colombia's most wanted man. So far, Pablo Escobar has outfoxed them. El gobierno le garantiza la vida y un juicio imparcial. Colombian President Cesar Gaviria says, should Escobar surrender, the government will guarantee his life and a fair trial. But the president is under fire. His army blamed for the escape, his credibility staked on capturing the boss of the Medellin cartel. Enrique Pereiro survived an assassination attempt ordered by Escobar. And I consider that it will be uh, useful and helpful for our country, the resignation of the president in this difficult moment. On the outskirts of Medellin, the only road leading to the prison is blocked by military police. Army troops come and go, but most Colombians believe Pablo Escobar is long gone. If the government has a plan to find Pablo Escobar, it's a secret. But it's clear the manhunt is centered in the foothills of the Andes Mountains, where Escobar has sought refuge before and might be hiding again. It was here in the mid-1980s that Pablo Escobar built not only the world's foremost cocaine cartel, but also a base of support. The government broke the agreement to not transfer him from that prison. I think that's wrong. They should have left things the way they were and not caused all this commotion. Here, drug money built shelters for the poor, and either out of fear or devotion, Escobar has won friends. Several prison guards are under arrest, suspected of aiding in his escape. Father Rafael Garcia helped negotiate Escobar's surrender last year. Now he's once again urging the cocaine kingpin to give up. Throughout Colombia, there are prayers for peace and the fear that the fragile truce between Colombia's government and its drug traffickers might soon end in violence. David Bloom, NBC News, Medellin, Colombia. When Nightly News continues in a moment, the Bush administration tries to put the best spin on the economic future. The Bush administration's drug czar, Bob Martinez, called Escobar a bloodthirsty gangster and said his escape from prison in Colombia yesterday was appalling. The U.S., he said, had been assured the prison was secure. In Bogota, here's ABC's Mark Potter. While hundreds of soldiers and police intensified their manhunt today, embarrassed authorities were still trying to figure out how Escobar could have escaped from a prison surrounded by the Colombian army. Their best guess is that during a gun battle with soldiers who were trying to move him from the prison to a military base yesterday morning, Escobar and nine other traffickers slipped out with the help of sympathetic guards. Speculation is Escobar used a tunnel, but authorities cannot find one. The escape is a major setback for the Colombian government because when Escobar surrendered last year, the Colombians argued they could keep him safe in one of their prisons rather than extradite him to the United States. Everybody is angry with President Gaviria, his ministers, because all this is a shame for Colombia. It appears Escobar had never given up control of his drug operations. The army was trying to move him because it was becoming increasingly clear that he was also using payoffs and threats to run the prison. He chose who entered, who left, how the jail worked, what happened inside, and he managed uh, a lot of operations, uh, drug operations and assassinations and kidnapping from the jail. In a national address, President Cesar Gaviria said Colombia won't change its policy of refusing to extradite drug traffickers, and he urged Escobar to surrender again. But authorities fear he will remain hidden now and will continue to run his vast cocaine empire in Colombia's outlying regions, where residents he has given money to over the years will protect him. Mark Potter, ABC News, Bogota, Colombia. In a moment, renewed defiance.